It's 18 trivia questions from Trivial Pursuit Pop Culture Edition, released in 2003. This is Trivia with Buds. What it be, and welcome to another episode of the Trivia with Buds podcast. I'm your host, Ryan Buds. Thanks for checking out my show. Now on YouTube, go to youtube.com slash trivia with buds to watch the show every single day. Sometimes I have guests on, sometimes it's me just asking questions like today, and it's always a good time. Hit subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast listening app to never miss a daily episode and about 800 episodes to go back and listen to. So if there's a certain topic, that you want to do some trivia on, just search that topic on Google with the words Trivia with Buds after it, and you'll probably come across what you're looking for. We've done uh, just about everything you can think of. And today we got some random ones for you from Trivial Pursuit Pop Culture Edition. It looks like that if you're watching on YouTube. And this came with a DVD. I think it was the first version of the game to have video clips in it. Maybe they had an old one in the 80s or 90s with a VHS tape, but this was the first DVD one, I believe. And they kind of released that around the time Seen It started coming out. So I think they were trying to capitalize on everyone playing those DVD games, which was crazy. Those were so popular for a while. And now I feel like they don't exist. Even though it's easier to stream and watch stuff, there's not like a, a video clip Uh, streaming board game, which seems like it should be easy nowadays. But, uh, you know, they always got to think of it before they do it, I guess. Uh, Big, quick amendment to yesterday's uh, podcast. I mentioned that the answer to a question was, um, what was it? Oh, my friend Ian sent me an email. Let me pull up Ian's email uh, so I could read exactly what I got wrong, because I already forgot what I'm supposed to say (laughs) was uh, was jacked up on this one. This is uh, the 25 cent question. Yesterday, we had a a question, uh, a whole round on ones and twos, where all the answers were one and two related words. So Ian says, hey, man, just listen to today's show on one or two answers. You made a mistake on the 25 cent question. You said it was two pence. It's actually two bits. Pence is the plural of the word penny in many countries like the UK. What you are going for is two bits. A bit is equal to one eighth of a dollar, which is 12.5 cents. What's crazy, Ian, is that uh, I w- looked up the questions I was reading, and on the screen that I was reading, it said uh, two bits. And subconsciously, I uh, changed it to two pence for some reason. I don't know why, uh, but I didn't even have the word pence written down. Maybe because pence is in the news for taking over the coronavirus. <laughs> Maybe that's why he was in my head. Uh, Ian goes on to say, going a bit nerdier, this comes from the old Spanish currency, which was the dollar. One Spanish dollar was known as a piece of eight. That's because it took eight of them to make one Spanish real. You might have heard the term pieces of eight since it's used in some old pirate stories and such. It's all also the name of an album by the band Styx. Ian, the official money master on the Trivia with Buds podcast. Thank you for all that info. And if I ever do stuff like that, if I mess stuff up or I say things wrong, you can let me know. Uh, Sometimes I will address it like this when I think of it and remember it. Sometimes I'll probably just let it pass because I do have to do the show every day. But I do want it to be as accurate and as fun as possible for people who really get a kick out of uh, things being uh, 100% perfect. So thank you, Ian. And uh, thank you for this review. Uh, that I'm going to read from my friend Sleep Great. Uh, 23 hours ago, left this review. It says, different topic every day, five stars. Fun to listen to with family, friends, or your trivia team. Interesting topics that patrons pick out. A host that is easy to listen to and enjoys what he does. Smiley face. Thanks for the best trivia podcast. Thank you, Sleep Great, and I hope this show helps you sleep great, because that would be awesome. I listen to certain shows uh, to fall asleep. There's a couple of meditation podcasts that I've been getting into. uh, So those also help you sleep great. Or maybe the sound of my voice knocks you out, which is uh, great. If you fall asleep listening to this show, let me know. Uh, I'll have to get you like a trivia with Bud's sleep mask or something like that. And if you leave a review on iTunes, make sure to let me know as well. Uh, Send me an email, ryanbuds at gmail.com, so I can send you some cool swag in the mail for taking the time to do that. All right, we're going to jump into 18 random questions, three cards that I pulled from Trivial Pursuit DVD Pop Culture Edition from 2003. Here we go. All right, guys, here we go with the first question of 18 from three cards with six questions each from Trivial Pursuit DVD Pop Culture Edition back in 2003. The topics are uh, movie, TV, music, uh, S and G, which I think is sports and games, maybe. 
uh, buzz, which must be like pop culture or like buzzworthy stuff, and then fads which could be, I think, fads. <laughs> I don't have the guide on what these mean, but I'm just going by the, the quick little acronym they give you. So here we go. This is your first question. Number one, where was Rain Man allowed to drive slow? There's a movie question for you. Where was Rain Man, the character Rain Man, allowed to drive slow? Number one. Question number two, who played senatorial aide Billy Bob Davis on the John Ritter sitcom Hearts of Fire? There's a TV question for you. Who played senatorial aide Billy Bob Davis on the John Ritter sitcom Hearts of Fire? Question number three, how many times does the word mm, M-M-M, appear in the title of the Crash Test Dummies song? How many times does the word mm appear in the title of the Crash Test Dummies song? Question number four, what 1980s soft rock band had an arcade game featuring animated band members? Number four, what 1980s soft rock band had an arcade game featuring animated band members? Question number five. Charlton Heston has declared that what would have to be pried from his cold, dead hands? What would have to be pried from his cold, dead hands? And number six. What is Ali Landry better known as? What is Ali Landry better known as? All right, that was our first card. We're jumping on to question number seven. What position does Harry Potter play on his Quidditch team? What position does Harry Potter play on his Quidditch team? Question number eight. What 1983 TV movie dramatized life after nuclear war? What 1983 TV movie dramatized life after nuclear war? Question number nine, who is the first person mentioned in Billy Joel's We Didn't Start the Fire? Who is the first person mentioned in that song? Question number 10, what CBA team did rap mogul Master P play for during the 1998-1999 season? Question number 11, what medical condition kept David Letterman from hosting a string of shows in 2003? What medical condition kept David Letterman from hosting a string of shows, show, I don't know why I kept saying, I said it wrong twice, shows, uh, shows in 2003. And number 12, what nickname for Batman did cartoonist Frank Miller revive in his 1986 series. What nickname for Batman did cartoonist Frank Miller revive for his 1986 series? And moving on to the third card, your final six questions of the quiz. Here's number 13. What 1996 film starred George Clooney and Quentin Tarantino as fugitive brothers in Mexico? What was that movie with QT and GC as fugitive brothers in Mexico, 1996? Number 14, what was 30-year-old Chris Peterson's profession on the show Get a Life? What was 30-year-old Chris Peterson's profession on Get a Life? Number 15, what was the name of Eminem's obsessive fan as documented on the Marshall Mathers LP? That one really came back uh, this year or the last couple years. What is the name of Eminem's obsessive fan as documented on the Marshall Mathers LP? Number 16, what arcade game inspired a 1993 movie starring Scott Wolf and Alyssa Milano? Ooh, I know this one. I just saw a meme of this one today. What arcade game inspired a 1993 movie starring Scott Wolf and Alyssa Milano? Number 17, what LA club did River Phoenix pass away in front of? What LA club did River Phoenix die in front of? And number 18, who was the first to be in an ad? Was it Snap, Crackle, or Pop? Who was the first to be in an advertisement? Was it Snap, Crackle, or Pop? 
Those are all your 18 questions for today's quiz on Trivial Pursuit Pop Culture Edition. We'll be right back in just a second to see how you did with those fancy answers. We're back with the answers to Trivial Pursuit Pop Culture Edition Trivia. We had 18 questions. Let's go over those 18 answers and see how you did. Number one, where was Rain Man allowed to drive slow? Where was Rain Man allowed to drive slow? The answer was in the driveway. In the driveway. Number two, who played senatorial aide Billy Bob Davis on the John Ritter sitcom Hearts of Fire? That was Billy Bob Thornton. That's a fun one. He played Billy Bob in real life and on the show. Billy Bob Thornton, Hearts of Fire. Number three, how many times does the word mmm appear in the Crash Test Dummy song? Mmm, 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 mmm. Four times. And that was actually the name of the winning team from a 90s trivia event I just did in Apple Valley at Off the Grid Brewing. Congrats to that team if they listened to the podcast. Next up, we had S&G, which I think was sports and games. What 1980s soft rock band had an arcade game featuring animated band members? Journey. Never heard of that. Don't know anything about it. But if you do, send me some screenshots. Journey in the uh, animated band member thing. Arcade game. Uh, Charlton Heston has declared that he would have to be, pr- what would have to be pride from his cold dead hands? His gun. His gun. He's a gun fanatic or was a gun fanatic. I think he's gone. And what is Allie Landry better known as? The answer there, the Doritos girl. The Doritos girl. Uh, not familiar with that. If you're wondering what the noise is in the background, it's my neighbor across the street who just decided to cut tile on his front lawn like a real tile cutter. <laughs> what, a, what a weirdo. All right, here we go. What position does Harry Potter play on his Quidditch team? He is a seeker looking after that golden snitch. What 1983 TV movie dramatized life after nuclear war? That was called The Day After the day after. And question number nine. Who is the first person mentioned in Billy Joel's We Didn't Start the Fire? The answer there, Harry Truman. Harry Truman. Next up, what CBA team did rap mogul Master P play for during the 1998-1999 season? That was the Fort Wayne Fury. Fort Wayne, Indiana. Fort Wayne Fury. Next up, what medical condition kept David Letterman from hosting a string of shows in 2003? He had shingles, shingles, and what was the name for Batman that cartoonist Frank Miller revived in his 1986 series, The Dark Knight, The Dark Knight. Number 13, what 1996 film starred George Clooney and Quentin Tarantino as fugitive brothers in Mexico? The answer was From Dusk Till Dawn. What 30-year-old Chris Peterson profession did he have on Get a Life? He was a paper boy on the TV show Get a Life. Chris Peterson, paper boy, 30 years old. Number uh, 13, 14, 15. What is the name of Eminem's obsessive fan? Is documented on the Marshall Mathers LP. That is Stan, played by Devin Sawa in the music video. Everyone's standing everything these days. And we had what arcade game inspired a 93 movie starring Scott Wolf and Alyssa Milano, Double Dragon, the movie. It actually wasn't a meme that I remembered. It was an article that came up on the top Uh, 10 worst video game movies of all time. I used to rent that movie and love it uh, quite a bit when it came out in the 90s, but it's not so great. Uh, Number 17, what LA club did River Phoenix pass away in front of? The Viper Room, notorious Viper Room, not too far from me. And who was the first to be in an ad, Snap, Crackle, or Pop? Number 18, the answer was Snap. Snap was the first one shown in an ad for Rice Krispies. So there you have it, 18 questions, 18 answers from Trivial Pursuit Pop Culture Edition. If you can find that at a thrift store, it's a pretty fun one. It's the only Trivial Pursuit that I would actually have a chance at, I feel like, uh, because I know the most about pop culture and things like that. But uh, go look for that and make sure it has the DVD with it so you can watch a bunch of clips. Uh, We have one more question for you. The question of the day, brought to you by Funky Monkey Designs of San Dimas, California. Check out their website, fmdesignsinc.com, for all your printing and design needs. Here's that question of the day. What 90s comedy film starred Will Ferrell and Chris Kattan as two head-bobbing brothers? Tweet me your answer at Ryan Buds on Twitter or email ryanbuds at gmail.com to be eligible for a prize. Uh, Yesterday's question of the day answer was Lisa Kudrow for the first real-life cast member of Friends to Have Children. And your trivia team name of the day is the Fresh Pints of Bel Air. Use that next time you play trivia. Thank you guys so much for watching the show on YouTube. Thanks for telling a friend about the podcast and listening to it. Thanks for uh, leaving reviews and sending me messages of when I mess up. And we'll see you tomorrow for more trivia with me. Cheers! (music) 